Well, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another Trevor's Terrarium here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. I'm Kevin. And that's Trevor. Uh, today, we are returning to a aspect of all card games. The last one didn't didn't go so well. It didn't work. So didn't work. Well. But hopefully, we get there this time. Uh, but before we do, we gotta remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us. And we love you very much for it. The link will be down below. And today, we are playing Bill and Lucky. It is the discard again with Hoena uh, as our champion, and we'll, we can see. It's more niche with some new cards, and hopefully we can actually make it work. Hopefully it does better than last time. Oh, yeah. But as what Hoena, the immortal conjurer, does, well, when you destroy a, a tower or unit in the battlefield, place one counter on this card, and remove three counters from this card, put a golem token into play, which is a 1,500 for free. Yeah. And it's insane. She is so strong as a champion just because she she gives you continual pressure and that's what makes her so good. Oh yeah, just end of your turn, I have a dude on the field that you just board wipes. Yeah. Our spirit, of course, is Luna, the dark spirit. Uh, when you destroy a tower or unit from the battlefield, place one counter on this card. During your turn, remove three counters from this card, opponent discards one card. And then during your uh, turn, soul burst, opponent, your opponent discards one card. So you can get two of their mainstays at late game, if need be. Uh, the first creature of the deck is the Failed Golem. It is uh, one for a 1,000 and ruined. You can send one Golem card from your deck to the discard zone. Sounds good. So, because we can do a lot of stuff with the graveyard as well with Poina. Uh, Daylon, the Conjurer's Raven. It's a two drop 500, but if you arrive and champion as Hoina, you get to choose one. Put three counters on your champion so you can really get a Golem. Or remove all counters from, it, from your champion, then search your deck for a non-legendary unit with cost equal or less than the number of creatures counters you control and put it into play which is super awesome because you can get those counters really quick yeah this little raven's really really good for yeah. being a legendary two drop just because he does multiple things yeah. either way he's going to give you a body however you want to do it exactly uh next is golem of jealousy it is two for a 1000 arrive if you control another golem you draw one card so it's a little cantrip dude that gives you good power yep the next one is bloodline maniac it's a two drop 1000 Arrive, both players discard one card, a random card from their hands, and you can get back whatever you can, so it doesn't matter to you. Uh, next is the Gloom Neophyte. It is yes. three for a 1500. Whenever a card is discarded from your opponent's hand, you may have target unit get minus 2000 this turn. So you're like, cool, discard, that dude dies. Yep. That, I mean, it just helps. It gives you another option with discard. Exactly. The next one is a Golem of Everts. It's three drop 2000, which is pretty good stats arrive if you control another golem unit discard one card at random from your opponent's hand simple as that more discard that's what we need to do yeah you got big bodies and discard and you don't have to worry about uh next up is the enforcer of the twisting abyss he is one of the new cards that's coming out and he is a three drop 2000 yep uh he is a dragon which is kind of odd oh, weird. but it should be a demon it is what it is eh. um whenever this card deals damage to an opponent's tower you your opponent discards a card and you draw a card Whenever an opponent discards a card, you may add this card from your discard zone to your hand. So this dude automatically gets to come back if you, he's in the graveyard when they discard. And when he hits a play or hits a tower, you get free card draw. Yeah. And they lose a card. So you get free advantage every time you hit a tower, regardless if you kill it or not. Exactly. So, which is pretty, pretty powerful. And a veteran in the Gilded Hall Hills, it's also one of the new ones. It's a three drop 1500. He is an Argent card, but arrive if you're a champion and spare the same element, which is uh, add target unit with element of that element from your discard zone to your hand. So it's just a 1500 that gets back a dude that can trigger. You know? Yeah. This is why you don't care if you uh, discard anything at random. Yeah. Uh, next is Liu Avarice Reborn. He is four for a 2000. And whenever this card is put into a discard zone from anywhere, you may sacrifice a, black, a darkness unit and if you do put this card into play so this dude literally can come into play for free easily on yeah. turn one or turn two like turn two easily because you're like cool the first little golem that when it dies you go search a dude and put it in the yard yeah and then so you search him it. put him in the yard and then sacrifice your other dude that or even a bloodlight maniac everyone discards at random if you hit this guy then you just swap the maniac with this guy and then there you go yeah simple as that and of course, Nob the Shadow Guardian, because we have to. Yeah. It's a four drop 2500. He has Guardian. And when he arrives, if there's a destroyed Dark Tower, target unit gets minus 2000 this turn. Thank you. The, this dude's so strong for four mana. Like, yeah. The, you just you have to play him if you're playing blood, in Darkness. You have to play him. He kills a dude when he comes in. He's a big buddy Guardian. And yeah, he's everything. 
Uh, the spells we got, Omega Magic Yami, it is three, it is two for a insta-cast. You choose one or choose two if you have two or less towers remaining. And target unit gets minus 1,000, or return target unit with cost three or less from your discard zone. So, kill a dude, return a dude, this card is really good as a quick cast or an instant yeah. cast. For sure. Uh, the next one is Abyssal Maul. It's a two drop spell, target unit gets minus X, uh, thousand this turn where x equals the number of dark units in your discard zone which will probably happen pretty quick uh next is poisonous strike it is three insta cast target attacking your blocking unit gets minus two thousand then your opponent discards one card from their hand so kill spell and discard spell all wrapped into one thank and you the only issue is they have to attack a block yeah so be it which you know that's how you win the game so yeah done and of course the best board wipe in the game is hoina's wrath it's a six drop but it costs two less to play if you're Hoenia, if you have Hoenia as your champion, which you do, so it costs four. Put into play two Berserker Golem tokens that are <clears> two thousand. <throat> then each non-golem unit gets minus X thousand, where X is the number of golem units you control. So it's a one-sided board wipe, and then you win. Yeah. You win a lot and you play a full max of three in this deck. Yeah, and you're playing golems, so you don't care. Yeah. You're like, cool, Just... your dudes are gonna die and mine stay alive. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. It's insane. Of course, now with that, that gets to the uh, shards. We have uh, the Spirit Ruby, which, of course, if you exhaust, flip your spirit face down, destroy target dude, which is just wins. We have the Nightmare Crystal. So you exhaust, spin the top, send the top card of your deck into the discard zone to help you just fill out your graveyard. And then the normal shards as well. Now, we do have an honorable mention because we want this card to be good and hopefully maybe they can erode it or whatever. But it's Hoenia's Inquest. It's a one drop spell. And sadly, as an additional cost to play this card, you expel a dark unit from your hand. And then look at the top look at your opponent's hand, you may select a discard a card with a uh, cost X or less, X equal to the cards that you expelled. If maybe this card was sent to the graveyard, that would be better, because then you could just get it back or whatever. But to to lose a card to hopefully get a card on their side is very iffy. Yeah. Yeah, it is any card though. You can discard any or you can expel any card you want yeah. and then you get to get any card they can, but it has to be under the cost. Like he said, it's it's kind of iffy for you to guarantee that you lose a card for them to not maybe lose a card. It's yeah. kind of rough. So hence why it's in, uh, the, you can put it in the sideboard. So on game two, you can be like, well, I know what they're playing at low casting cost stuff. They can get, so turn one, expel your two drop to get their two drop. Or if you really want to, it's kind of a dangerous play too because you can remove a Huina's Wrath and be like, I'll get whatever I want because yeah. I can. Exactly. Uh, but with that, that is, that is the deck. The deck was will be down below. But hopefully you enjoyed your stay in Geetopia Island and you have a good day. Bye. Later. Also guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Uh, thank you, Dwayne Higgs. And thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.